want to look at the pug, uh, plug in pl uh, eh, the print in play map uh, to the print and play files to see what the vagabond's all about? That's a question. You just call print and play plug and play. I fixed it. I fixed what I said. I went back and fixed it, Brian. Shut up. You edited the post. <laughs> We're doing it live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. What did you say? I said that that is such a good clip. It oh, is. Uh, if I ever get, like, a stream deck or something set up, I, I will just have, like, quick meme clips just to switch to in the stream. It'll be glorious. Yeah. Make him be voice act. Make him what? Uh, we just say the thing, and it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Do it live. Click the button. We're doing it live! <laughs> oh, God. That's such an amazing breakdown that that guy had. Because let's admit it. It was a breakdown. Yeah. By the way, I find it absolutely hilarious that's, that I had two copyright strikes on my YouTube channel. Uh... Of which, one of them, <laughs> one of them got uh, um, like immediately removed, and that was the one that Square Enix had. And then the other one, the main thing from Womp Womp, despite it obviously not being their song at all, <laughs> and an actual like false positive, like a legit false positive, that copyright stream is still on my unmonetized channel. What? Oh, sometimes I don't understand people. Something tells me that they're going to wait the full 30 days and just let it fall off naturally. That way they don't have to admit fault. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Which is really funny because uh, I cut up all the games we do. So, they had several weeks before it went live. Or they didn't have several weeks, but they had at least a week before it went live. You know? So, uh, do we want to look up the Vaggy for, for print and play, or do we just want to just use what we have available to us in the mod? Yeah, let's just use a different, better bot. I mean, the, the, the cat really... I was disappointed in the cat. And something tells me I'm going to be disappointed in all of these. To be honest. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, and yeah, Fangus Khan is a fan expansion. It should actually be in the fan factions. I don't know why it's here. Because they wanted it to be in Nine. They wanted what? Wait. They wanted it to be an even nine. Ah, clearly. clearly. All right. Um, I guess Erie or Alliance. Um, let's try the. You said the Alliance. Yeah. So, I believe there's a few choices we have to make when we set this up, but uh, let me think here. I really did like the Underground Duchy. It seems like it is definitely my playstyle. You know, once you hit your elbow, you just, you know, kill the entire map. Yeah. Um, I want to try the Lizard... Coast. You want to get the lizards of the coast? Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Should I try the Corbin conspiracy? Uh, they very much 
involve the other people. By the way, you're lagging. I don't know if you're on your Wi-Fi or not. Uh, I'm not on my Wi-Fi, but I'm laggy sounding. You keep cutting out. Okay, well, let me try the Wi-Fi. Opponent's hand. You get out. There's no opponent. What? Rebel. Nice. <sighs> That's a yarn. Yeah. Uh, it was a Corvid conspiracy scene to interact with other players' hand in a way that does not seem compatible with bot. Hmm. Give me a second here. He did something to like change the direction that all the tokens look and I disagree with his choices. Your aesthetic confuses and annoys me. Okay. Yep. His setup doesn't change, so... Uh, opposite of my keep. Uh, so you get a bunny. And four warriors. Uh, all right. Who's gonna be your outcast that you start off with? Um, don't I also start with dude? Say what? Uh, I thought that I started with some dudes. Jason. Uh, uh. Yeah, a one warrior and each adjacent. Okay. Yeah. In the corner and one in each adjacent. Oh. Lee, we have some choices to make for these guys as well. Uh, we're obviously doing cooperative because you know your machine is still borked, so you, we don't we can't play any we can't do any private information. Mm -hmm. Okay, two, three. Alrighty then, so variance difficulty settings. Easily easy default challenging and nightmare. So are we gonna do what's more do default or are we gonna up the difficulty? Uh seem like we could um up the difficulty to challenging so. and not do ambush or speed. So easy is organized if there are four or more. Where's the organize? Organize if there are three or more of your warriors in a clearing with a base. Remove all warriors on that base and immediately spread sympathy again. Okay? So in other words, the difficulty is unique for every single bot. Fair enough. So easy is they'll organize less, and I don't think we want to make it easier. Right. Organize if there are two or more warriors in the clearing for challenging, which means that they'll be spreading sympathy a whole heck of a lot faster. 
And Nightmare yep. is they just gain bonus points per round. Pretty much. Yeah. So challenging. You know, we'll just slowly update update the difficulty until we figure out something that works for us. Yep. Seems reasonable. Okay. Uh for the traits, we just did one trait last time. Uh we can add <laughs> Nightmare bot with all four traits. Jesus. <laughs> uh, do we want to stick with one trait card since it seems like they're fairly randomized, or do we want to up it to two, three, all four? Um, let's just do one trait card. Okay. So. Destroying Sympathosin grants no victory points for our opponents. And challenging is they just organize more readily. Got it. Stool, Corey. Okay, what else we got here? So Where is a fox? Or no, a rat. I want to put a workshop on a rat. Let's put the sawmill over there. I guess the recruiter over here. Alrighty then, uh, do we want to allow Ambush and Dominance to be in there? Nah. Ambush, Speed, Dominance. Nah. So we don't want to play with Dominance, therefore not giving him extra victory conditions. Dominance increases the difficulty, Spy and Ambush decrease the difficulty. Yeah, let's just leave it at challenging there. First of all, we've got to remove all of these nonsense. Because they're not in the game. So, dominance cards are not in the game. And... Ambush cards remain in the deck, right? Yeah, I think ambush cards remain in the deck. Yeah. Okay. So I think I've done all of all of our setup. No wait, we need to figure out your outcast. Yeah. yeah. Looking like it's a high chance of being Fox in the graveyard. Just oh, yeah. saying. In this version of it, it uh, if it's tied, it actually progresses. Does it? Where does? Where are you getting that? Uh, it's. In the uh, outcast, like not for setup. Lost souls. This uh, song was constitute of lost souls ignoring birds. If uh, because the outcast. If already outcast, flip to the hated. It says nothing about tide though. Well. I think it's on BG Designer. Then. Um. How about we look that up later, and we'll just go with the rule that we're used to.
Just to be safe. Mm. Yawning. Okay, fair enough. Alright. Um ever key was removed, and this with a card, message the clearance. Okay, well I guess I'll just go ahead and start since you know we need to get the game started here. One wood in each sawmill's location. Uh, craft using workshops. So I will go ahead and use my workshop, which I set up at Mousy Mouse, to use a gently used knapsack. For one VP, and I now have a sack. Gross. You okay there, bud? <laughs> oh, get your sack out of my face. I don't want to see that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just, just look at that sack. Oh, sometimes I like stroking my sack. You'll see this in 30 seconds. No. <laughs> Okay, uh, take the three actions plus one per spread eagle I spend. Okay. So, I think the best thing I could do is set myself up to be amazing. So, I am going to use my first action to build a mill of the saw variety. And that's worth a victory point. I am going to instead put that sawmill at this fox land for reasons that will be revealed here in a second. Then I am going to overwork, therefore getting another sawmill. Please keep me... He scripted the uh, the number of cards in the uh Yeah, it was sweet. Yes, you're making extra sure that there's extra foxes. And I'm gonna get a recruiter, I hardly know her in this land right here. So that way I have a land with two. And that uh, you're source. not spreading. What? You're not spreading the love with your recruiters? I figure having a, a single spot that is maxed out on recruitment is pretty decent. Oh. Okay, then. Spilled your juice? Freaking commercials. Anywho. Uh, that is all three of my actions, unless if I use the Spread Eagle. Of which, you know what? I'm thinking that the best thing I can do is spread that Eagle as wide as it can be and just get some warriors onto the board. I put it in the wrong discard, that's fine. Oh, I, yeah, I only have two orders. That's fair. Okay, uh, and I think that's all I can do. So I draw a card. <laughs> of course I draw an ambush. Well, that's perfect fodder for this bullshit. <laughs> Okay, Brian, I believe the right. Outcast Nation is Fox of Bruise. Right. So, um, perform conspiracies with all zero of my acolytes. Yeah. Uh, Eagle now does not require me to remove 
a dude, right? Place one warrior in the Alkalite's box. It just says place one, so... I don't know, I guess it doesn't. It looks like that was edited. You can kind of see where the Photoshop was. Right, okay, so I reveal those two, placing them in Acolytes. And I don't roll a fox land, so I reveal the fox to place a fox. The so fox place will be corner strat. In a matching... Co what? Your... Yeah, You're I'm recruiting. Okay. Seeing... Yes. Where? I'm recruiting in Corner Strat Fox. So you're recruiting up here? Wait. No, I recruit in adjacent. You have two foxes you can put it in. Okay. Uh, the fox adjacent to Bunny. Uh, by the number 10 on the Veep track. Okay. Let's say, both of those are adjacent to Bunny. One of them yeah. doubly so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you revealed your entire hand so you can't reveal any more cards. Yep. I don't think you can craft any of this nonsense. Uh, I have no foxes with which to craft, so I just draw one. Alright, so now to figure out this guy. When a human player removes sympathy or, or removes any words to some of that clearing, that player must discard a matching card from his hand. Okay. Uh, in battle as defender with at least one warrior, they get an extra hit. So, th I guess this removes their, uh, they get the better dice, bull uh, always bullshit. Instead of them getting better dice, they just, just deal, hit just harder. get an extra hard. They, it, <laughs> they just get an ex they just get a free hit no matter what. Yeah. Unless they have no warriors there, in which case you couldn't get a hit anyways. Well, they'd still have sympathy. So, feel the top card of the deck as the order card. Alright, craft order card for one if it shows uh, an available item. It does not show an available item. Remove all enemy pieces and place a base matching order card into a matching sympathetic clearing. There are no sympathetic clearings. Oh, instead, revolt at the end of daylight, because eagle. Okay. Instead, revolt at the end of daylight. They are revolting. Okay. Spread sympathy. Place the leftmost token from the sympathy track into an unsympathetic clearing adjacent to a sympathetic clearing. If you cannot place sympathy token, gain five VPs. If it's an eagle, instead place adjacent. So, how do they get their first sympathy out there? Uh, I'll shift to make sure you did their setup right. I, I double checked while I was asking that question. Okay. Place the leftmost token for the sympathy track into an unsympathetic clearing adjacent to a sympathetic clearing. If you cannot place a sympathy token, gain five victory points. Eagle, Wait. instead, place in an adjacent lowest priority clearing, but at no point do they gain a fucking first sympathy. Nah, show that again? Because on the back side... Fill your board and place your bases on matching spaces in the bases box. Fill your sympathy track with your sympathy tokens. Any more yeah. questions? Well, the non-rules portion of it says, instead, the automated alliance will always place one sympathy token and a base, or two to three sympathy tokens. 
Players will have to take down one or two bases to ensure they can score more points to automate mine. Uh, maybe we should open up to the automated alliance page. So, playing against the automated alliance. Uh, or a base and a sympathy token each turn. The outrage and guerrilla warfare have been changed to slightly different. Okay. He attempts to craft it. In daylight, place one sympathy. Take the leftmost sympathy token from the track and score the point shown beneath it. The, uh, the clearing to place the token inside as follows. There is a clearing adjacent. Uh, multiple options. Uh, then 1 through 12. There is no adjacent matching clearing. Then place the highest priority clearing with the highest priority clearing with the highest priority. Again, avoiding clearings with three or more warriors of a single opponent if possible. Uh, this means on the first turn, the boss will place three sympathy in clearings 1, 5, and 2. It will match clearing priority 1, 6, 8. Okay, so in other words, he places one sympathy at eagle or at one wherever one is for him which is foxland um is it one or is it 12 the highest remember 12 is the lowest uh and five, and one is the highest we had this discussion last time Right. Highest priority yeah. is 1, it's... lowest priority is 12. Um, I just looked at the time. I'm going to go double check to see if Uber is still delivering at Sanic. If so, I want to get myself a drink. Give me a second here. If not, oh well. Not that big a deal. Good news, they are still delivering at Sanic. So I'm going to take care of that real quickly, if you don't mind. I do not want an all-day breakfast. Thank you very much. I want a diabetes-inducing diabetes amount of root beer, please. With extremely little ice. I love how I've said very little ice on my phone so many times. If I, if, if I type in the word V... Like that's the first suggestion that my that the keyboard says. It's very little ice. Very little ice. Yep. 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 Uh, the XKCD today was quite amusing regarding that topic. Really, it, it, today the XKCD is that topic. <laughs> Yes, it literally is. Uh... Like they, I know they did that in the past, where like they asked, "What happens if you type nothing? Would it be your most common phrase?" And the guy freaks out, and it, it the most common phrase was, "I'm sorry, that has never happened before." Oh, damn! No, uh, this one, it's uh, like we will start the revolution at. <laughs> and then the autofill is <laughs> like the docks on June 28th. <laughs> that's that's actually pretty hilarious. I I I enjoy that. I, you didn't you didn't spoil it because I know I'm still going to enjoy it when I actually finally go and look at it. Yeah. And then the mouse over is like, <laughs> we will arrest them at the docks on June 28th. Nice. Meeting we've been had. Nice. I, I have enjoyed this description quite a bit. Oh, jeez. Okay. Additional, like five so, bucks worth of shit. Because Eagle, it's going to revolt at the 
end of daylight. Yeah, and because so because Eagle it actually goes in Fox twelve instead of Fox one and it... Um So in other words it goes in twelve then? And twelve two is Fox, okay. So Eagle reverses the priority and it makes them play sympathy first before revolting. Right. Fair enough. Uh, I mean, you're happy about this. Game. No, he doesn't attack me to kill me. Oh, he has to attack you to for it to count for you? Pretty sure. Okay. But he has to attack me to get acolytes. Alright, and I want one corn dog. So that way I can go over the ten dollar minimum. Cause apparently there's a ten dollar minimum. They're like, you cheap son of the bitches, stop ordering really small meals. We're not earning a profit. Yep. All right, then. Order is on its way. I now have some root beer incoming. It will be delicious. Fair enough. Okay, so he, he placed that in there, and instead, Revolt, at the end of daylight, place a batch, uh, uh, a base matching the location. Shaboop. They get a base. Uh, so... The... <laughs> Matching base is not in place, so that happens. Organize. If there are three more warriors in a clearing with a base, remove all warriors. Recruit one warrior in each base. Okay, I can already tell you this guy's going to be tougher than the kitty that we just overthrew. Discard the current order card. Means you go to Spread Eagle. Alright. <sighs> So now it is my turn, and I gain. Oh, it's going to stay on hated. Yeah, it's going to stay on hated because no matter what card I play. So anyway, first step is gain some some knock on wood. Second step is. I'm going to overwork in Foxland, and then I'm going to use my last two actions to build three wood worth of buildings. So I'm wielding a workshop and a recruiter. That gets me four more victory points. Did he earn any victory points? Um... No, he did not earn any victory points. He only gains victory no. points through crafting, destroying our pla our places, or if he can't play sympathy. Uh, he also gains victory points if we run into his territory. Yeah. No, placing the sympathy will gain him victory. Not that one. Capital One presents a thirty-second audio huh? tour. Of not that one. That one gains him none. Berries. Charming castle, charming castle, charming castle, charming castle. Yeah, but you're, you're talking about you're talking about in general. I I know I know what you mean. You're talking about in general, but I'm saying just not this one. Okay, so I'm kind of worried about these spots that are adjacent to like his little central location. Capital One Bank USA NA. Now that he has a uh, a place. Um. So instead, I'm going to put one recruiter here and one workshop. I have one in the mouse. Let's put it. See, I don't know what I want to craft, though. So I just kind of want to, I guess, get a versatile amount of this, this shit. Anyhow. That's worth four victory points, so I should be at seven. And you're still at none, right? You scored it? You didn't score any? 
Yeah, he didn't score any. I'll score one for killing his boss. Please do. No guarantees it's going to stay on uh, Fox for the foreseeable future. Well, it's guaranteed to stay on Fox right now when it matters. Yep. Okay, I spend one Acolyte to convert his jabron into me. <laughs> That's right. You're just like, nope, you're mine now. <laughs> yeah, and then I spend the other one uh, attack in Fox. You spend the... Uh, and he's defenseless, so I automatically get a hit. Uh... And still roll dice. Oh, you, you went on a crusade? Yes, I went on a crusade. Hmm. Crusade. Some of them almost didn't fail. Alright, so... You didn't move into there, so therefore he didn't gain outrage. Right, but I did destroy his shit, so, so. he does... You oh, gain two for destroying his shit, but he gains one for you destroying his sympathy. Uh, I only get one because he's being an asshole. Uh, wait, wait, no. Uh, hold on a second. It is oh, right, his, his trait. His trait is sympathy doesn't count. But now you must uh, discard a fox or he gains a victory point. If You can't discard a fox, so... Favor of the foxes go bye-bye? Discard fox? I have fox in. Yeah. Uh, I guess eagle, since it's a wild card, still counts too. Well. Oh, I'm going to discard the uh, three mouse fox. Okay. That has been discarded. All right. So, so we are discard done with... Yes, discard it. <laughs> yes. I'm just saying that lead hated foxes. I reveal all the things uh, putting uh, one fox building in the land that we share and gain two acolyte. Now, I will point out that's going to... Well... No, it doesn't matter. It's really hard for Lizard of the Cult to play... The Lizards of the Coast to play uh, co-op. Because he just outright annihilates other people from being able to claim territories, even temporarily. Yeah. So what else did you do? Uh, I... Could craft armor. Earth, but I... Can he actually attack me ever? What do you mean? Like, can he can if he gets a presence on the board. Like, if, if we actually bother to let him get a base for multiple rounds, then I don't Our... think he ever directly attacks right. him, does he? I would rather... No, he doesn't. He never directly attacks you. We have to be the offensives during for this bot. Okay, then my single fox craftable is useless. So, I'm not crafting it. Like, it will... I mean, I, I'm looking at this, and I'm seeing nothing that says fight. Like, revolting and spreading sympathy just only serve to spread sympathy. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, Armors is retarded. Got it. Alright, uh, you're done with your turn? Yep. I only draw one since I had to discard a fucking card. Hmm, fucking card, eh? <laughs> Another eagle. Well... <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the exact same nonsense fucking happens. 
They're just uh, going to be this one guy that switches back and forth from being Alliance to <laughs> being... <laughs> <laughs> From alliance to uh, I mean lizard to alliance to lizard to alliance to lizard. Me. Like I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. The exact same thing fucking thing happens, right? No, that's a hundred percent correct. Um. <laughs> All I right. That you do not. Uh discard stuff to change it or I it can't stay I can't right. change it so it'll stay where it is okay alrighty then so I get some wood Gross. this this brings a smile to my face uh, I am I'm gonna go ahead and craft my two wood sawmill in this mouse land. I am one warrior at each recruiter, so I have three total recruiters, so I get one, two, uh, three kitty cats. My second action Jeez. Oh, okay. Um, I have one more action remaining. I just don't know what I want to do. Well, give yourself your two veeps. Oh yes. And uh, your third action could be to mince bread like the losset, or to well. Uh, the thing I was figuring is you control this area, and it's only a matter of time before, honestly, you control this area. So I was thinking I should probably just drop trow and run while I still can. Um, you do get to sprint out, right? Yeah, I get to move twice. So the first move is like here to here, second move from here to here. You have to control your X-Men origin, right? No, I have to control either the destination or where it's from. As the standard move. Like, like I, I have the standard rule book move. Which is either to or from a place you, you control. Okay. So for me, I control this space. My first one is to a space I control. And the other one is, in this case, both. It, it applies to both. I'm just saying, it, yep. it's a matter of time before you control this land, so... And then that'll just, like, forever make that guy forever alone guy. Right. So... Seemed like okay. a good idea to so GTFO that's... while the GTFOing was good. Yeah, so that's your movers. Yep. Am I going to... Uh... Was I going to craft more like it? Uh, I had nothing I could craft. Got it. <sighs> All right. Yeah, you do not play nice with other characters being co op. Okay. It's really hard for us to coexist, is what I'm saying. Hey, is it still Fox? It's still fucking Fox. So, fucking loop. <laughs> loop <laughs> achievement <laughs> is equal to true? Yeah. So, I convert that guy and then roll dice to see if I kill the base only you, or the base and You the... did. You roll the one, so you kill both. You gain one VP because of his trait. Neat. And he gave, he so far have gained zero because of raisins. Yep. All right. He would actually be gaining more if he wasn't getting spread eagles. 
Okay, I have to discard Fox Fox, and I'm discarding Nuke. Uh, you're discarding it? To... Yeah. What? Be because I would rather craft a hammer bro. So... I hold, hold on a second. I, I, I'm actually confused. Why are you discarding your fox? Because I killed a sympathy. Oh. So oh, because you killed his nonce. Got it. Yes. Okay. So, I do all my things to gain an acolyte again. Gain two of them. Two of them, and I put a, another fox garden in the land... That I will control for days. And then I'm keeping this shit on Fox by crafting a hammer, bro. Uh, you, oh, you, you do this Fox Garden. Got it. Hey, look at that. You earned the uh, extra draw. Oh, not that one. The, I'm not limited to one per territory, so I put two in the bottom spot. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. So, uh, draw two, because you're not crafting anything? Or, wait, are you crafting the anvil or not? I'm crafting the anvil for two veeps and hammer bro. And then draw two. Gain the hammer, the only hammer, so he can now not build the hammer. Okay. Oh, speaking of which, uh, that eagle was not a crafted eagle. What? The eagle that the fucking rat drew was uh... not a craftable item. Was it? Oh, it, was this it? I think Crossbow. that was. So he did craft it for one victory point. So he's at one victory point. Me. Thanks for thinking about that. Anyhow, uh, you draw two. Me thinks you're moving into the mouse land I abandoned. Okay, this is not a craftable. He drew mouse. So now, uh, he can't craft it. Uh, he can't revolt because... Uh, Spread sympathy twice if there are four or less sympathy on the board is what he does. Okay, so he then. spread sympathy twice, which means I think he's now earning a victory point. Yep. Alright, after his turn, I'm going to have to go to the restroom, so we'll take a small break after his turn. Alright, so it's spreading twice to the lowest number, right? So, starting at one, he's, he can't place it at two because of the uh, way the keep works. Doesn't so, it uh, to go to my still, though? Yes, it goes to mice, but you start at the lowest number for the highest priority. So he places a mouse at 9 and 11, I guess. 9 and 7. Uh, we're 7. Oh, Smeven. Yeah, Smeven. Uh, the... Smeven! The place I abandoned. Got it. Okay, so he spread sympathy twice. Now, uh, place the leftmost token from the sympathy track onto an unsympathetic clearing adjacent to a sympathetic clearing. So, there is no unsympathetic clearing that is adjacent to a sympathetic clearing that is of the same number? Yeah, n not matching the order card. If there are no matching clearings, prioritize clearings with less than two warriors. So, this, this, okay. Alright, so okay, starting that... at... 
So he's adjacent to 9-7, so the lowest number is a 1. And so he places it at 1. Experience. Am I right about that? Because oh. he's yeah. not adjacent to a rat, otherwise it would have gone to a rat. Right. So, uh, that is where he went. Got, and he got another victory point, so he should be at three total. Uh, there's three or more of your warriors in clearing. Nope. Recruit one court warrior. He has no base. Discard the current order card. Okay. So now it is my turn, and we are going to take a five minute break while I go to the restroom. I have returned. You there, bruh? Yeah. Bruh? 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 All right. So it is my turn. One wood at each of my three sawmills. One, two, three. I think the smart move is to at least do one battle. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and auto win that one. So uh, I'm not going to auto win that one, actually. I'm going to auto win the other one. Because that one's in a, in a bad way, okay? Um... All right, let's discuss a quick strategy here. I could use all of my actions to. Yeah. Where do you discard the eagle? 
All right. Well, I'm never going to be a defender, so yeah, I discard the eagle. Like, legitimately, I'm just never going to be the eagle. Right? Well, the eagle's still an eagle for extra actions, and you can... Uh... That is true. I can spin that ahead of time, I guess. Yeah. In which case, I would have to discard nothing, because I would lose no cards. Yeah, sure, I'm going to get right. four actions this round. Okay, so he gains one veep, since yeah. you did not give him a card. Um, are you going to be able to deal with both of these, or none of them? Uh... So, if it stays basically one of them. So. Um, and there's already two fox in discard, so... Uh. Okay, let me, let me look at this real quick. As attacker in battle, you're not affected by ambush cards. So, completely and totally worthless against this guy anyways. Because he doesn't ambush. So, alright, so my first action was to attack. Let's go ahead and make my second of four actions to attack again. Okay. So that way we can get rid of this. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be a stupid move to use my last two actions to get in there and attack that. Because I still need to focus on getting victory for myself. Right. So I am... I have three wood out there. Ooh, and is this one still? Yes, this one is still that. Okay, uh, if I have three wood out there, I'm going to get a recruiter right now. Let's get the recruiter in... Um, nobody owns this territory, right? Where am I limited to build? Oh. In clearing, I have to roll. Okay, so I have to roll it. Um, right. See, the deal is, is I'm just trying not to make one territory like so damn juicy that when I finally lose it, it's going to be just awful. You know? Right. Um, but I'm kind of running out of space, to be honest. Um, it's literally a choice between bunny and mouse. Yeah. So that was one, two, three wood. That was... Yep. And my fourth and final action, which I already spent ahead of the time for, is to do some more recruitments. Because ha having warriors to respond... On this map seems like a good idea. Although I'm probably I would probably need to, at this point man spread this little uh, kitty pile here. Yep. Okay. Um. Right. Uh. Evening. Draw two cards. Damn, I'm getting some really awesome bunny builds. Too bad I have no bunny spots I can build my second bunny on. Okay. Oh. You're not getting mine, and you can't Shrek your own building. So. Yep. Any Hooter. Uh, it's on Fox. Still. There are no Fox enemies or things, so I say that I would rather like than gives fucking mouse. Say what? 
So I do not do my bird song. I reveal my whole hand and gain two acolytes. Um, I recruit into the mouse land that we are sharing. Mouse and then build a, a mouse garden. How the fuck are we going to get you victory points? <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, so now that I'm at this point, I'm going to uh, still be able to craft fox. So I discard mouse. Uh... To build a swad and gain two. Yep. Oh, and I guess armors does work on, but it doesn't cancel his automatically gained hit. Yeah. Armor works. It's the other one that that Rusty. says ignore ambushes that won't work because they don't play ambushes. But that's always true. Anyhow, you done? Yep. Okay, so he's doing a fox. So he is adjacent to number one, I think. No, he's not. He's adjacent to Did these I two cards. Out? I was supposed to draw two cards. Alright, he's still doing Fox, and this time it is a craftable piece of gear. So, he places awesome. on eight. So, hold on a second. Uh, remove all... So, he doesn't have a fox on the board, so he doesn't revolt. If the matching base is already played, there's no matching sympathetic clearing. Instead, spread sympathy twice if there are four or less sympathy on the board, or once if there's five. So, he does it twice. He places basically two sympathy out against two victory points. Okay. Place the left motion of the Simi track into unsubmitted clearing adjacent, uh, going into just pure number order because I don't think he's adjacent to any more foxes. So he's in these three territories. So he goes to this corner, sympathy. Jesus, how are you supposed to fight this guy single player? Like, I don't think you're able to fight this guy single player, you know? Gets. Anywho, um. Right, uh, is his turn over? Yes, it is. Um. Alright, so. Just that experience. What? Yeah. Uh, he needs. I did not understand right. a word you said, Brian. So, it only matters when he has base, which he does. I think I got the gist of what you said, but it was still broken up. Yeah. Anyway, it's my turn. Yeah. I, I get three wood. Uh, am I going to craft... I have something that costs one mouse, and there is a tea kettle out there, so I will... 
I will mousecraft. I think we're finally going off of Fox, man. I think we have to. Um, I'd like it if it fought. Well, I mean, let me think this out here. Well, you know. Because that's... I know there's three wood out there. That... I'm going to be using that three wood, so... Anyway. Um, so, craft using workshops and take three actions. What are my three actions? It's like... Off? Huh? I'm just sitting here asking myself what my three actions are going to be. Because it looks like I'm clearing out this land. Maybe even clearing out that land. And I, you need it to be foxes so you can clear out that land and that land. Um... Shit. So, if I craft the mouse, that'll be two mouse. Therefore, it's forced to change no matter what. So, I can't craft the mouse. Fuck! Sorry, Brian. I, I just kind of run out of like ideas <laughs> about what I, where I'm going to go next. You know? Craft using workshop. Like, if we want it to remain Fox, the most that I could do is play one bunny. Right? I am I right about that assessment, given the our current outcast? Brian, are you there, buddy? Did you leave me all alone? Oh, he re he's rebooting the phone. Got it. So. I'm just waiting for him to tell me when he's back. No. Uh, gotcha. With the Capital One Saver card, you earn 4% cash back on dining and entertainment. Does that include dinner at that new French place? Yep, 4% cash back there. How about bowling with my friends? Yeah, 4% cash back on that too. Nice. And that'll be a rewarding weekend. Because with the Capital One Saver card, you earn 4% on dining and entertainment. So when you go out, you cash in. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Terms apply. Capital One Bank, USANA.
Hello? Hey. Oh, hey. Much less, uh... Was there something life. running in the background or something? I don't know. Yeah, you know, uh, what I was trying to say was... I'm just confused about, like, what our possible next action is. Because... So, we'll if, like if I don't... It, okay, okay, right. If I don't use my mouse... That means my mouse gets used when I attack this. Or when I attack this, I mean. So either way, that mouse is getting used. My Whoa. original plan was to take care of two of these. But it looks like, to me, your plan is to take care of two of these. You can kill Bunny, build a thing in Mouse... I can kill two of them in Fox, and then you can recruit with a fuck ton <laughs> of them. Like, for him to get a base. Yeah. In fact, actually better for us when he has a base. Yeah. Alright, well I guess I'm not going to craft this. Instead... I'm just going to first action attack the oh, bunnies. Oh, what you crap? That's root T. T. Yeah. Um. It would, it would unbalance at the mouse. Yeah. I mean, you'll still be able to craft it later. So that that is first action. Second action is um, use start bunny then. Yeah, I gotta give him a bunny. Um wait, is it remove sympathy, removes any warriors. No. Um Uh, all of these are good. Anyway, a second action is use the three wood on my three different mills to get my last recruiter on until I start until until I start conquering more of the map. My ver my very literal last base I'm able to put it on. Ironically, we're in a position where we almost want him to start killing some of us. One, two, three. Okay. Uh, did you get your veeps? Yeah. Yep. My second action. Yeah, so your third action is to recruit a fuck ton? Could be. And this is what happens when the cat is allowed to ball out of control. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, the cat runs out of fucking units. Oh. Alright, what you gonna do, Brian? Well, uh, you're at three draw now, so you have to to discard something. Mm, that's right. Well, it has to be this eagle, so that way it remains. Well, it could be this fox. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I get. Uh, I do this fox. Eagle has cool. still some use in my hand. Right. Okay. So. I two times attack spinning acolytes and don't need to roll. Uh, 
getting rid of uh, the actual fox and uh, the the other actual eagle. fox. Oh, I have two actual foxes. Yeah. Uh, there was this fox sympathy and this fox sympathy. Right. I'm saying I have to discard because I'm Shrek. Oh, okay. So from my hand, an actual fox mm -hmm. and uh, the non swad eagle. Okay. I keep my fucking hand as is here and don't go on to a killing spree. So I gain an acolyte. Uh, there's not room in that mouse, is there? Sorry, I was muted. Both of them have room. Alright, so I'll gain there. Which one? Um, oh, it has to be where you rule, right? Okay, never mind. No, it doesn't. Oh, which one? Uh, the one with sympathy. Hmm, okay. Wait. No, I put a garden in the mouse where I roll. Huh. Um, the bunny... I have no idea what the purpose of that bunny is for. <laughs> well, we're literally at the point where if it wasn't for the fact that we're playing co-op, we would have to fight each other. Like, this would be the tipping point of the game. You know? Well, I still have two more mice and a fox I can build. But I don't have any bunnies I can build. So, I guess I just amass a bunny army. In the one bunny spot. Unless... No, I'll try and take care of whatever Sims end up with. So, I will place it in your... You have to rule there. No, for play... Oh, okay, where are you placing it? Yeah, uh, corner strap bun bun. Okay, there's two corner strap bun buns. Now I get you. <laughs> so, have you done all three cards now? Yep. Um... Then I craft the swad. Gain two veeps. And then draw three. Okay. Eagle. So Eagle does something weird where it reverses both the priority order and the order in which you spread sympathy and revolt, right? Okay, so he does have a sack to fondle, so he gains it. No, what oh, I mean so is... we're having this shit again <laughs> if it stays hated. So what I mean is um, the way it works is it moves revolt to here and reverses the clearing priority order to where 12 is more likely to be hit than 1. So 
Uh, place the leftmost token from the sympathy track into an unsympathy clearing adjacent to the clearing. Uh, if you can't place the sympathy, gain five. So he has right. sympathy he can place. He has three, Lowest. but yeah, he goes for 12. Right. Which is the damn fox land again. And then he, since he reversed it, he's, 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 he's achieving his loop. <laughs> okay. He's achieved his loop, Brian. I'm impressed. The AI has achieved a better loop than you. No. Okay. No. Then that's discarded. So let me guess, we want to keep it on Fox. Well, only if we want to Shrek that. And we want you to Shrek it, because right now you're behind in VPs, and that's worth VPs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, well. I, I get three wood. And I, it's going to actually have to put it on the board, because there is no spaces I can put out th put this wood out. So I can't make use of my wood. Until you've uh, moved in and trekked the mouse right. land. So I'm going to pre-spin this ambush on an extra land. That indeed. We on, on an extra action, I mean. It's important to have a long Sorry, right. when you said land, it, apparently uh, it mind flooded me. So I'm going to pre-spin that on an extra action. Now, remove okay. sympathy or moves any warriors into a sympathetic clearing. So me moving... So... I am going to, for my second action, do the move, dot move. So you're not going to give yourself 2vp crafting the T? Uh, wait, you, uh, no, you do have, I do have one mouse. Single. Okay, for a second action, I craft the T. Uh, it's not an action. Oh, for, oh yeah, for... Yeah, that's a good point. I have to do that before everything. But anyway, so I have a, I have four actions. My first action was to... Actually, what was my first action? It's to move. To move. So I have two move.moves. I'm going to save some of these cat warriors from the inevitable apocalypse that will be coming their way. And put them in safety... Uh, dance zone and for second action well you get two or moves for second when move, you yeah. move he gains a vp for that cuz i moved into his territory but i couldn't give him something yep for my second action i remove his sympathy because raisin bread. Yep. For my third action, I get a craft station. Oh, wait. For my third action, I think I I think I got this. Do I have a bunny sawmill? Fuck, no, I don't. Did I gain my two VPs earlier for crafting that? Oh. Uh. I don't think I did. <clears throat> so for my third action, I don't have a bunny sawmill. Oh, well. I'm going to... Get... 
some yeah, Mouseketeers you... builds using this wood and this wood. That gets me two VPs. And for my fourth action. I guess I am going to continue man spreading like the law says I should. Just so that way there is no individual oh. nuke that completely wipes me off the map. Yeah, how did they get there? Because. Oh, good point. I thought they were. Uh, for, my brain said that there's a connection here. Um, this. Leaving behind two dudes over here. There we go. Okay, draw three, discard one. Well, I have plenty of mouse construction, so... Um, it looks like until either they clear me out over here, or they clear out you over there, there's absolutely jack and shit I can do about crafting these bunnies. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get rid of initiate a battle. No, wait. Moving's really easy for me. I'm going to get rid of initiate a move. Wait. I will never exist on a space after he's annihilated the space where he where I can fight him. So get rid of the battle one. Anywho, your turn. Alright, uh, what my outcast? Oh, what your outcast? Gee, I wonder, is it Fox? Me think it is Fox. Let me double check. Oh yes, it is Fox. It is time for Guy Fox, Fox to do what he does, what, what he does. It seemed like there were a lot of bunny. Nope. There is one of each. Neat. Remember, we wanted to stay Fox for that. What? Okay. It stays Fox. I get in my goddamn loop. <laughs> See if I kill both sympathy and base. Yep. Wow, you don't. I assume you just kill the base because the base makes more sense to kill. Yeah, base. All your base. Hey, I didn't have to fucking discard shit. So. Uh, I reveal Fox to build Fox, uh, Garden. Dunzo. I reveal Eagle to get Acolyte. Dunzo. Um, I... Reveal Mouse Bird Ambush. You reveal Mouse what? Uh, I'm doing the uh, gain VP score <laughs> thing. I reveal Mouse, discard Ambush. The Bun Bun. Okay, Dunzo. Okay. 
Now, what the fuck do I do with this last mouse? Recruit more alkalis, I guess. <laughs> or recruit more... Uh... I guess I recruit more dudes. And I man spread. You can't put it in my corner, so... Um... You've also built it all of the Musketeer land. Uh, this is not fully built out, but considering the way I gained victory points, I'm going to keep building there. So. Okay. Okay. I just recruit on my uh, mouse stack. Rather than man spreading. Oh. Wait, no, because we still want me to be able to attack, so I'll protect your wood. You can protect my wood? Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, you now get all your cards back. Are you going to craft anything? Uh, do I have anything craftable for Fox? Yes. You have exactly three foxes, and you have an option of this card plus two plus one of the other two. And I yes, don't think you can make the crossbow because the crossbow's knocked out. Okay. Are, yeah, uh, the swords, swords yeah. Out. So you have brutal tactics as the attacker. You deal an extra hit. Um, that feeds VPs and would also get eagle out of my hand. But, fuck it. I build it. Really? Okay. Because, fuck it, I'm having to draw three. You got an eagle back. You got two eagles back. Neat. They got two eagles back, and you drew a bunny, and you have to discard one. Okay. Uh, are there boots? Yes, there are two of them. Are are there boots available for craft? One of them. Okay. These I, boots are made for walking. I suppose that I discard Bun Bun then to try um, and con to Bun Bun. I mean, you're in the same predicament I am in. If you can get both the cobbler and the guy I just discarded, the one that initiates a battle... No, can... there's no way for me to craft it. Because... Right, but I'm saying you're in the same predicament I'm in. Yeah. So where if one of us gets that, at the very least, we can be a lot more effective. And at least for you, it'll be more effective if you can get it. So which one do you want to discard? The cobbler. Okay. You're pretty much guaranteeing that the outcast is going to be the bunny, though. Just FYI. That's the intent so that I can make Das boot. Okay, whatever. Wait, can you only craft what the outcast is? Yes. Oh, yeah, shit! <laughs> and I've run out of things to craft for Fox. Well, it's pretty much guaranteed to be bunny at this point. Uh... He also got bunny? Yeah, he also drew a bunny. Okay, so he revolts and it does not match. Yeah, so in other words, instead of revolting, he's spreading sympathy twice. Uh, he exists only in this spot, right? Okay, so he is going to put uh, sympathy in both 4 and 10. Okay, he put a sympathy in both four and ten. Now he spreads sympathy. Um, and he's going to aim for a bunny, but I don't think he's adjacent to any bunny, so he aims for one. Yeah, he Neat. aims for one. And he gains three victory points for that round. Neat. 
Okay, so I gain three wood. We all know where they are, so I'm just gonna put them on this one space for a shortcut until we, you know, until decisions have to be made, right? Uh, <clears throat> so uh, craft using workshops. Um, I can't craft the sack, so this card and this card can't be used. Uh, that Can't that card's crack. pointless. Uh, that card has points, but with the way we're stomping this guy down, it's not really useful, is it? You will never be in battle as defender. Yep. Okay, and I don't have two bunnies. I have one bunny, I don't have two. So, no crafting is, happens. Do this one, it's four VPs. It's five, four, three. Uh, three, four, five. Okay. That indeed. We understand that when it comes to hiring. Uh, advertisements, thank you very much. We think this round through here. I mean, I guess it makes sense to build this one as kind of a safety net. But at the same time, having more crafting options seems good to me too. So I'm going to go ahead and build that. I'm going to use three of my four wood. And, then, and for the decision part of this, I'm going to use the three wood I just put out there. That is worth three VPs. One, two, three. Okay. So that is first action is to build that. Now there are, unless there is a Vagabond in play, there are literally no other places to build, right? I think this is what yeah. the uh, I think this is the uh, the automated vagabond. I think its entire purpose is not to win, but to automate removing of the um, of the locations. Yeah, because at this point you need to gain eight veeps from fucking crafting, and, and it's all... literally impossible unless I draw the golds and the well, shoe. I'm making DOS boot, though. Yeah. Like I said, unless if I'm drawing all that, it's literally impossible. So, uh, um, yeah, I just, I'm going to stomp down some rebellions, I guess. So, for my, uh, if I do two more actions, and I stomp down a fox and a bunny, that means I have to give him this eagle, so I'm going to pre-spin this eagle on an extra action. So, I now have four actions. No, wait, I'm not going to pre-spin the eagle. We need to stop feeding him victory points. Yeah. Uh, I am now going to auto-win on stomping these out. So, these two go bye-bye. I'll leave the other two for you to deal with, I guess. Huh? I said, I'll leave the other two for you to deal with, I guess. Um, I can't deal with both, sadly. Uh, no, you can't, but... I only have one more action remaining. Or, no, I have no more actions remaining, because I, I didn't get the extra one. Yep. Oh, jeez. Oh, I got a gold. That's good. What are my, what's my crafting look like? I have one, two, three mice. So I have the mice nuke. Uh, 
look at what you need to craft for building gold. I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> and both of us beginning... Both of us are hoping for the other to get duped. <laughs> Am I wrong in this assessment? You know what the most fucked up part is? If what? I did abandon that land, you can't even walk to it. Yeah, you would have to abandon... Nope, yeah. I'd have to abandon two gardens. Yeah, yeah, you ha like two gardens would have to be gone, like... <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I mean, we're we're both just hoping that one of us gets nuked, so that way we have territory to attack and expand into. Like, like that's where we're at right now because we can't. Because with this damn trait, we can't gain VPs. Yep. Um. Okay. All right, so so what you... I'm gonna I'm at the very least gonna get rid of nonsense that I can't craft no matter what. So can't craft the sack no matter what. Sack goes bye bye. Okay, and that does not shift it away from Bun Bun. Nope. It it, it is 100% gonna be a Bun Bun. Still Corey. I spend all of my acolytes. To Shrek the Bun Bun. The Bun Bun has been Shreked. Guess what you gain? No VBs. I gain nothing. Good day, sir. Nothing good day, sir. Alright. I reveal the two Eagle Scouts. Wait. Should I gain four Veeps or try and maintain Acolytes? I would gain VP. Well, yeah, gain VPs because, uh, like, I just realized I probably shouldn't have stomped out that Sympathy and just let that Sympathy exist. So that way he nukes it, therefore I could rush in and attack it, and also build some more buildings. Yeah. Um, the one that I attacked, though, still fucked. Your so. bunny getting new would be a good thing for yourself, just to convert it into fucking craftables. Anywho. Anywho. Um... So I reveal Mouse Das Boot and discard Mouse Crossbow. Really? You're not going to reveal two mice and discard two of other stuff? Or is that no, once, once per round? Yeah, okay. It's once per round. You reveal Boot, yeah. discard Moose, score two. Yep. And... I assume reveal fox, discard one of these two eagles. Yeah, and it'll be <laughs> eagle with boot. The ambush is a lot more useless than an eagle with boot. <laughs> Surprisingly. Oh. Alright, that was another two heap. And then I reveal an eagle for one acolyte. Dunzo. Okay, then I get my hand back and I craft Das Boot. Uh, do you want the bunny Das Boot or the other bunny Das Boot? Uh, discarding Eagle Das Boot. You you have crafted because the boot. I need a mouse to do the thing. It is worth one victory point. Well, 
like I'm willing to be talked out of it if you know that's a method for you to gain but no but you got the bunny nuke <laughs> you also got the other set of coins <laughs> I guess. I also have an uncraftable Uncraftable thing. tax collector. Yep. Yep. But okay. I've been able to gain uh, Shit! four V around for a while. Uh so he does get to gain a V for nuking me. Ooh. Yeah, he gains a beat for nuke. So. And uh, then we start to ask, how many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is like the first time we did it in this order. So he does the base, but that's all he does. Now he does the normal spread sympathy once. Yes. In which he tries to aim for a fox land, but he's not adjacent to one. So instead he aims for the one that's closest to the number one, which is your corner strats for days pile. Well, it's possible that you are going to be able to get in. Okay, so... You have one of each. What is it that we want it to be this round? Well, if it stays on Bunny or tied for Bunny, then that allows me to Shrek that Bunny. Okay. So we want it to be on Bunny. Got it. Okay. And I can't craft that because I don't have two freaking bunnies. I can't craft that because I don't have two freaking bunnies. So, first step is three wood. They're equally on all three of my things, but we'll make decisions when we have to make decisions. Anywho. Um, step one, craft using workshops. I have three Mouseketeer workshops and one bunny workshop. Okay. Well, you're already not affected by ambush cards. Yep, because he doesn't play it. And looking at his hand doesn't do us any good. Yep. So re the really, really the only reason to craft these is to get them out of my hand if I'm attacking him on bunnies. Which, I'm not. On mice. On, on mice, whatever. Okay, okay. uh... You can build by going into that fucking fox and trekking it. Yep. That will give you one area to build at. And that would give me what? Veeps. I guess I Yeah, I guess I would get a recruit there. For the most veeps. Um alright. Looks like I am going to move and attack. Okay, that discards your eagle and gives him a veep. Yeah. Well, no, that's only if I remove it, not if I attack. Oh. So I have to remove it to be able to do this, but, you know. Oh, yeah, keep in mind you're getting an auto hit to your... Alright, so... Wait, what? I don't have any building that gives me an auto uh, hit. If you attack him, you automatically... Hit. I take a hit. That's what you meant. Yeah. Okay, so now we're at the point where we have to put these wood tokens out there. Okay. 
So let's just let's just cat ball out of control here. Because I don't want to move in there more than once in case this fails. Right? Right. So I'm going to cat ball just once into here. So that okay. is my first action. My second action is to attack. So he gets a hit and I get a hit. Alright. Um, you aren't going to get to build. Are you going to Shrek him? He doesn't have a warrior there, so he doesn't get that free hit, right? Right. Alright. Yeah, I do the Shrekage. I just stare at him menacingly! Uh, he's defenseless, so you still... I, I still Shrek. kill his base, I guess, yeah. You're right. For one VV. Neat. A brutal story. Alright, Brain. What you got a brain, Brain? Looks like it's forced. It's tied, so it's forced to remain bunny. Uh, did you draw on this card yet? Oh, no. I have it. Three. Um, do we want it to remain bunny? Remaining bunny lets me Shrek that spot, or get the fuck out if you want to finally be able to craft bunny. There, it's bunny. Okay. There is no doubt about it, it was Bunny. Alright. I let myself get tracked. I spend one Acolyte to get the fuck out of there. You go on a crusade? I go on a crusade. Uh, do I have to attack? Or can I just... May battle. Okay. So, where are you going into Crusade 2? Um. Mouseketeer. With all of my dudes. Alright, you have gone on a crusade. Neat. Alright. So, I reveal mouse, I reveal uh, fox, I discard tax collector and favor of the rabbits. That gets me four veep. Yep. And then I reveal that and throw a dude. Uh, I guess in your recruit fat stack. Recruit money. fat stack. Got it. Cash money. You now have your cards back. If you had two bunnies, you could build that gold. You don't have two bunnies. I draw three. My guess is you're discarding that tax collector. And 
No, I'm discarding the bunny. Uh, with the coin stack. Really? The bunny coin stack? Yeah. I what just want to make I sure need... I heard that correctly. Yeah. I don't need it. I need foxes for scoring beeps. And kind of wish that uh, we had gone all <laughs> uh oh one. Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. He's uh he's nuking the cat fat stack. The fat stat the cat is so, being nuked. Well, yeah, a after he spreads sympathy. Good. After he spreads sympathy, of course. So uh he is 12 and 1. Are those the only spaces he's on? Yeah. Okay. Uh oh, so uh four. it's So 11. He spread sympathy to 11. Okay. For 1 BP. And now he revolts, because he's revolting. Uh, Alright. Uh, he's going to aim for 12, so he nukes the fat stack. Well, he aims for the one with the most enemy pieces, which happens to be 12. Uh, how many... There was six warriors in that clearing. Um, how do I save them again? Uh, Matching their you... clearing, and I have no foxes. I can't save them. No! That sucks, bro. Yeah. I just realized, it's impossible for even, like, the... like. Assuming that this guy has taken over the entire map somehow, right? It's actually impossible for this guy to knock me out. Because at no point can he place any pieces in my clearing. Because I have a keep there. But if he can't place, he just gains V. Yeah, but I'm saying he, he can't knock the cat out. The cat always has a chance, bruh. Yeah, he can't eliminate Cat. Okay, so he gains a warrior there. There's the warrior stack. Here we go. I don't even know how he would have won this with challenging. Your, your guy is just too slow on VP gain. I'm gaining four per round now. I, I think so what you kind of needed to do, and this is just like just an idea, is like just choose one territory... And get that territory up to placing all you can. Yes, no fucking shit. If I had five foxes and gained four veeps around, that would be much, much better than gaining four veeps around while For... discarding yeah. cards. <laughs> yep. Just a tip for the future, Brian. You could be played this better, man. <laughs> Anywho... <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop now. That, that was sarcasm, but the entire way through. Yeah. <laughs> so, one wood, three locations. How many wood I have left? I have four wood left. Okay. Also, for future reference, bunny crafting, Ermagur. Apparently, Jesus. <laughs> like. Mouse crafting is apparently only PvP shit, while bunny crafting is player versus anything shit. Right. And nobody gives a shit about fox crafting, apparently. I mean, it's given me like half of my VPs over here. Yeah. Um. So. Right. Um, I think the best thing I should do is recruit, move, and attack. Seems like a pretty solid choice to me. Yeah. Recruit.
I'm just going to casually get back all but one of those warriors I lost. In move with this... Wait, wait, hold on a second. I don't have any... I don't have any foxes, so me doing this will give him a VP. Eh, shit. Oh, well. Seems fine. Move. And again, I'm just going to make a huge kitty ball. And throw it in there. Let's go ahead and leave, like, two back here. Alright, roll a fucking... Eh, we'll leave three. one in each territory. Okay. Alright, so he gains a VP because I moved into his territory. I attack him. You roll a three? <laughs> I'm rolling your dice, apparently, Brian. <laughs> So if it's fox or eagle, then I hope you had fun. <sighs> well, he is going to organize for this first time, in which case he's going to remove all warriors on that base, spread sympathy again. Okay. Okay. So I am going to draw but three cards now. Have another. He won't have two warriors there before he will. that step. Oh, he, he recruits after he organizes. Never mind, okay. Yeah. So, um... Do we want it to remain bunny? I don't give a fuck. I don't have any acolytes. Oh, okay. Or the craft. Well, uh, I want that fox. I want that eagle. Uh, I'll get rid of these mouses that don't fucking matter. Um. I want these two if I could actually get a fucking second bunny already. Um. I mean, I'll get rid of the ambush. Bunny. I'm getting rid of the ambush. Cool. Hey, it's a... Uh, it, it, it's a mouse. Oh, jeez. Alright. Um, so, watch me go on my crusade. Okay. <laughs> I reveal Fox. I discard Tax Collector. Okay, reveal, reveal Fox, box, discard Tax Collector. I discard uh, Code Breaker. I reveal the bunny! One, two, three, four. And, and you gain a bunny somewhere. Yeah, I guess that bunny will be on the other recruiting bunny. You figure eventually I'm going to abandon one of these areas and you're just going to take it over? Is that what you're figuring? To some degree, yes. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, then draw my... Put my shit back in my hand. There's nothing to craft for mice that gives veeps or useful abilities. I draw right. three. Discard and one. Have to discard. This guy is frust. This fucking AI is frustrating, especially with that goddamn trait. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna say that. I'm just gonna say that with this goddamn trait, this AI is frustrating as hell. Yeah. Okay. Like, I discard scooting. Party. Like, it's not hard, it's frustrating. There's a difference. Yeah. Right, I would be gaining a fuck ton more VPs by now. Yeah. 
Like, we have to let him I mean, take that's... over a territory because we literally got this fucker on lockdown. Okay, he can't build. He's he's gonna be <sighs> Okay. Can't he can't craft. He aims he aims for what territories does he have? These three. Okay, he aims for the biggest number are adjacent to these, which is ten. So he puts a sympathy in ten. He gets a VP for that. Now he revolts. Uh, remove all enemy peace, place a base matching... Okay, so uh, he's aiming for a, the most things he can nuke with a single base. Uh, looks like he can nuke the most things over here. In Ratland? Um, yes. Ratland is more, and fuck, 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 fuck. That's 4v. Yep. Okay, so... Two, three, four. Okay, so he nuked Ratland. He puts a Ratland... Token out. He does not organize, but he does recruit at both of the bases. Alright, I just need two more turns. I need more than two turns. Anywho... So, okay, okay, so we're going to start with attacking. <sighs> okay, and that means giving up your little teapot. No, it means if I remove his sympathy, I give up my teapot. Spoiler yep. alert, I can't, even with the three. You rolled three. Oh. Yeah. Okay, he gets two hits on you. Yep. You gotta beat. Okay. Uh, this gives me three, this gives me four. Is there any fox shit I actually want to build? No, there isn't. So, one second. One, two, three, four. And I just need two more after that. So, it looks like you're about to have hated rats, but you have no acolytes. Damn it. Right. So there's not a thing you could do about it. Nope. In Since other words, it's my job to take care of the rats, I right? I do it for however many eagles are in my hand. Well, no, in other words, it's my job to take care of the rats, right? Um, so, oh. What's okay. the problem with the rat? It's VPs. That's why I want to go kill the rat. Oh. Yes, and it also gives you the ability to build. Which... Yeah, build more, which will get me exactly everything I need to win. So. Oh, so I would just build there. No, no, with... uh, I'm going to move, uh, gain an extra action, and build. And, and, and sorry, move, gain an extra action, uh, build, build. And I think that'll get me victory. Because I can control, I can take control if I just have more units there, right? So, yes, I'm going to gain an extra action. So now I have four actions this turn. Right. I've already used already... one on attacking. Second one is move. I'm going to leave behind two warriors here so I control that area. 
move, I have to give him a mouse. <laughs> and now, if I build, build, which, hold on a second, let me double check my way wood here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That means I should have one in here. Yeah, so I have seven. Yeah, I mean... You did lower your income to only two, right? Yes, I only put out two. Okay, cool. I've just been building them up over a number of rounds here, so... If I build this, four, five, six, seven... That'll give me my victory. Gucci. So, I get myself my victory. Well, I don't have it. Yeah, I know you don't have it. I'm sorry. But it... No, you it, For you, it's still possible for you to gain your victory. For me, it was... I had to take advantage of open slots while there were some. You know? Right. No, I was trolling you saying, Ah, oh, I can't win in two actions. Wins in one. <laughs> <laughs> well... To be fair, <laughs> when I said that, there weren't open spots for me to do anything with. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Alright. Lose your... Lose my what? Since you've spent all of the wood. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Lose my wood. I think next time I fight this guy, I'm putting my fucking uh, workshop over here, and I'm keeping that spot open for a second wood mill, so I don't have to worry about that nuke removing all my wood at once. You know? Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, I'll get rid of the fox nuke. All right. And look at that. Rats are hated. What do you do, Brian? Would you like to see me go on a crusade? I would like to see a crusade. Some of them almost don't fail. Alright, so I gain uh, four veeps and discard funny and uh, the... Swad Fox and gain a Fox dude somewhere and a wait wait wait, wait wait hold on a second what uh you reveal the bunny oh or, never mind you, you reveal yeah. the mouse discard the bunny and the fox you reveal the you know the yep. mouse and the fox you discard those two and you get an acolyte. Yeah, I I misspoke. I don't gain any dudes. All right, now I draw three because there's nothing to craft. What do you get rid of? Our good old buddy gonna do? Ooh, fun! He's going to nuke something that has a lot of units in it. Shit, he's gonna spread a two sympathy to what territories he's in? He's in his four. So no, he nukes your. Uh... No, he doesn't revolt right away if it's an eagle. He gains one sympathy. Right, I, I was trying to see where he gains that sympathy. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Nine. Yeah, nine. Mouse. And 
And well, then he nukes the fox. No, he he nukes the guy who has the most units. Is what you said, right? Oh, yeah. Well, most enemy peer, uh, most enemy pieces with tiebreaker being priority. So this territory is only that much, while this territory is a shit ton. Neat. Okay, that's fine. I don't need those stinking gardens. I can get all my points from having a fog. I told uh, you, like, this guy isn't interesting. He, oh, he doesn't nuke that area. Because he can't place the building out there. Oh, because it's mouse. Yeah. So, he nukes... Hold on a second. Fox. Do you happen to remember how many cult members you had? I think it was it like six. It doesn't matter about to win. I think it was about six. Anyway, um, he, he does nuke. So there's one, two, three here. One, two, three here. Just one here. So he does nuke the box. You're right. Neat. So one V. Now he organizes and then brutes. Uh, I masticate on my turn and you win on yours, right? Oh wait, it has to it has to remain mouse or fox, right? No. I have fox gardens. I just score my last right. two points. Matching. Oh, okay. So it does, oh, you don't have to match the outcast. Okay. Yeah, I just do the score action. Yeah, yeah. So I masticate and you win. Yeah. Yay! I did not find this guy fun. <laughs> yeah. He, he was literally just. A hyper annoyance is what this guy was. Yeah. <sighs> okay. And we really didn't do each other favor like. Yeah, we did it. Oh, it's been a while since we played Roots, so I kind of forgot that like bunny uh, workshops are actually really goddamn good. Yeah. So. Like, I, I kind of forgot, like, it's Buddy and Fox that are the really good ones with mouses being, like, super secret spy actions. Yeah. And Which, the you know, ones super secret party. spy actions don't really do us a, a lick of good against the guy who's immune to super secret spy actions. Yeah. Well, if you had had super secret fox action, you could have just given him a V to wreck his shit. Yeah. Which would have been him. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, well, thank you all for it's, sticking in with this once game. Once you got a hit on this single warrior, it turned into... Okay, so what are we going to do now? Okay, Hooter. What do you want to do now? <laughs>